I'm Megan Garner, interviewing Colton Gatso for the Tibetans in Exile Today project. This interview is being held in Dharamsala on June 21st. It is understood that reproduction, distribution, display, and the creation of related works will be left to the project directors. He was born in the Tsang region of Tibet uh, at a place called Panam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when? Uh, mm. uh, uh, he was born in uh, 1932. Okay. What did your parents do? I was a child. I was a child. I was a uh, my mother passed away after seven days of uh, when I was born. Papa you know? mm. In a pala danganzo, Tangema in a shungi, Tatiri Karsorta in a shungi, a shungbag, Missiri, Missiri, the Tutan Ineta, Chimuris. His father was working uh, in the government, you know, as an official. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how many siblings did you have? Any pinja pupomo has this? Hmm. The pinja pupomo. Uh, I think got two to three. That I just got to know. Uh, that pinja pachi maji. I got to know. 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 I got to Step brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you have any family still in Tibet? Any girl at the village, the Namid in the US. Tanda Nami or Marie, a near Chocho Age, a Pugutin, you are it? Saturn's only not to the Kashi, you are Marie. You are Marie. She, you are Marie, that Chocho, that Pavata, Chipping out to the Gamma to Ganga Trunk Sabres. Uh, his most of his uh, siblings are no longer alive right now, but their sons and all are still in Tibet. But then uh, they weren't even born while he was uh, imprisoned, mm -hmm. so he doesn't actually uh, know them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, what about friends or fellow prisoners from when he was imprisoned? Are they still there, and does he talk to them at all? Yeah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Tan so one of his best friends is like still alive. His name is Tana uh, Jingme Sambo. They spent together around 18 years in prison and around 23 years in prison together and uh, befriended. Mm -hmm. um, when did you become a monk? Ani ya kushok madhu shares chaba kadu. He was ordained as a monk when he was around like 10 years old. Mm -hmm. And what monastery was that at? Gomba uh, Kangilena. Uh, in his uh, native place, there was a monastery called uh, Pena Gatong. Okay. So he was ordained there. Okay.
Uh, from the age of 10 to 17, he studied uh, in that same monastery, Penagaton. And when he was around 17 years old, he shifted to uh, Al-Hasa Jebung Monastery uh, for further studies. Jebung is a <laughs> so he was in the Loseling section of the Jepu Monastery in uh, in the house called Tsa, Tsa uh, and uh, it's the same house as uh, uh, Professor Samdurum Oh, okay. Um, can you tell me about your life in the monastery before the Chinese came to Tibet? ani <laughs> To stay away, to the name, to a minya, or Marie. Eh, Gemi Mabushan, that Gemi Yema Kumitangi, Gemiton to Jeva Marie, Shing Yema, Kumitangi Tichuari, Shungzobach, Shungzobachuari, Shungzobati, a Chilton Gup, a ship to ship Kiagola, Shungzobati, and to a Gemi Yuba to Kangama, Gana Lobby. So when he was in monastery, there were many Chinese in Tibet. Uh, there was a, a Chinese ambassador around 1948 of the Kuomintang era. So he and uh, the remaining Chinese were sent back from Tibet during the 1948. And uh, he carried on his studies in monastery during those 17 years and it was all uh, simple and uh, peaceful. And how did life change after the Chinese came? Any gave me to let's say jail. Any music you can just give us. to let's say jail. Nara in a cup to do two on the pitch day, they are it. The Samlon and Lola Carriwars in a pitch I have to any gish tongue chiagata, tea top in the other day, you are it. Ye neta, Gemi Yong chair, any eh, Nanjo Nesuta, two to two chat in the chumbaris. So, uh, he was initially planning to appear for the geshe exam while studying at the Depu Monastery in Lhasa. Uh, but then when the Chinese came, then the situations became worse and, you know, uh, all that, you know, happened after that. Mm -hmm. um, when did you start to worry about Tibet's safety? Um, safety uh, when did you start to worry about Tibet? ああ、だ、ペイ、だ、ケミレラ。だ、ペ、ペイ、だ、センジェディ、カディドジン、ケソス。ペイレ、タ、ニャガドス。シュママホンバラ。ペイ、ケカブラ、ダ、ニャ
oh, the Chinese have no religion, you know, they are against religion. And he was worried about how the situation for Tibetan Buddhism will be if Chinese actually occupy Tibet and it's going to go down and, you know, the Tibetan religion will deteriorate. And also, as soon as the Chinese started coming in 1949, uh, they have already taken control of Xinjiang, uh, Mongol, and also Tibet. And while they were entering from the uh, Amdo and Kham regions of Tibet, uh, many of the Tibetans fought there, you know. Uh, three of his family members were soldiers. So one of them is uh, Shango, uh, Shango, Dungrawa. Uh, Shango Dungrawa. He's quite famous, I think. So he also fought in that battle line. But he later returned back when the Chinese were becoming more and more, and they had to retreat back. Can you tell me about what happened? Tangotemi Yundi Karichego Arsene Perla any to do Chiga Yumba is any Shantinema or Pumia Kuda Tonzo in a Eh, Gogota. Any, uh, Sambata, Tinde, Nueva, in a Konga, Nueva, in a, and Totolo, did you come to the Shugumu, your mare? Tayansi, Mumu Janjigi, a Cabo Cocojari. Tinde, any, eh, te. Teach you to any Pimitun, Leven, and Lola, oh, Gemishi, try Abutuga. Any, uh, Nella, Shirin, Kangapia, Shatiagi, a Tondo, two Robotsigi, Gemishi, try Abutus. So when the Chinese entered, uh, they entered on a pretext that, oh, uh, we are going to industrialize Tibet, we are going to develop your life, we are going to bring progress into Tibet. And they also started helping people around the Kham and Amdo region with their uh, water needs and their cultivation needs and all. And they also started giving them uh, a currency called Dayang, you know, to use that, you know, uh, in order to exchange things and all. And the Tibetans were simple folks, so they thought like, oh, the Chinese are good, you know, they are working for the betterment of Tibetan people. Can you tell me what happened in Lhasa? Uh, 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 I need to do some bit of a little 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 bit uh, so I had some reasons to go to Hassa, to the main Hassa city. Any March in Bari, not Hassa Droga, Tundaju, Tundadi, so Kares and Koshe Shan and Tigdu, near Nangi Mummy, Kusum Sumuari. Kusum somebody did not have to mock you, Shung Motang Cheching, so then near Nani, Malama Jala, Tindeta Sayata, Jala de Kuyungari. Tindia Kuyus, ma Tilinka Shu Sixa. Any mamma Chimoyi, that's all what that did. So, three of the soldiers who are his uh, brothers and relatives, uh, they generally used to bring him food and stuff, you know. So, they had returned to Hassa, you know, and they had asked him to come and pick up his stuff. So, that's why he had to go to Hassa. In Tundadiri, ma to do the name Hassal Mullabs did there. Mummy Mambo Shivichi put a year regarding your drum shasha. And other young boy robot the Tibun in the the So when he was in Hassa, he looked around Potala, there were like a lot of Chinese soldiers around. So he and his friends were talking, Oh, what is happening? But then they thought the Chinese are good, you know, during that time. They hadn't done anything bad so far. So they thought, oh, maybe it's like for the security of uh, His Holiness. Tine ma chini putale ti te pao ke ni se a chi di chuari. Chue ti ng wala pa tu se chi ko chuari. Di ti te le du te ni, yine ma hasan ni mi mang bo shiba chi lu lingang wala ma du du. Ta ra mi mang bo shiba chi chuki kare na si u du kun zi. So there's this big uh, gateway into Hassa, the big chitin. It's no longer there, I think, but it's in old pictures. So he saw many people going through that towards the Nobulinka Palace, the summer palace of the Dalai Lama. So I asked my friend, oh, what must be happening, you know? Oh, that's why I'm going to go to the Nobulinka Palace. 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 I'm going to go to the Nobulinka
Tigul Tungu, I am called Tumbayina, Gundu Jarashu, Dishola, Chandal Jaraguari, Tiring Anzo Jara and Dakabri, Kumabu Kosinabo Cross, Luling of Cross Chevins. So he thought that, uh, you know, the, the military command called Shushi Kantu, uh, so they were the commanders of that, they were them are actually coming to have an audience with the Dalai Lama. So they said, oh, let, let's all of us go and we might also like see the, his, see his holiness. So they went there. Mm -hmm. I didn't mamma do this any. Me mambo shows my do me that put a promonta tuna canta, shunsum to mambo do contra casing me. Dine Michi that you part to touch Kunchev Chikimba that the Chola of Jimando, so she does that. She conquered his shunche, Mantuti de Peso. Kishila to cover the case you do, not Lazar do is. That didn't Lazar Chibunaya Mindo, didn't Tazoy of Juni Mendos. Kundu Kemi Marala, Semul Tendu Shuris, any Kemi Tango Tanga Tanche Magagi Tonante to some jury. Did Twinjela ne any perma gang chick teach of Maris, got a so chick teach of Maris, Telelamal Shaji Michik, Tilea Lanja that in the Kuchogumari, Telelam Shaji Michik. So while he was going, you know, he and his friend, uh, a person stopped nearby him in a, in a sort of a horse uh, ride. And then he told him, oh, where are you guys going? He said, we are going there. Then he told him, oh, today is not a good time to go to Hassa, you know, because uh, the Chinese have invited His Holiness uh, to for a sort of entertainment program in the uh, their military compound. But they had also put up a condition that you cannot bring in any of uh, your, like, uh, guards and security guards and everything. You can just bring sort of one uh, chaperone, and other than that, you cannot bring anybody else. So, so that has created a lot of tension. That person told him. Ti indu ne hasa me mantu ta yata maris mo mi ti chom kundu la shabji chik dile kakai kuno chow chizan yang na kozo paga lauru chabche kundu paga ne me absuris yang na kozo mude nulu che jana alma ti turis. That three out of Maris, any Manzo, Mema Gama, Lulinga Ching Chip, Kundun, any Chipuman and our recipe, Paper Yin, any Muria Langa, Nyate, Man Langa Gris. So this word got out among the pub public of Hassa, you know, and then the people said, oh, that then it must not be good if they are inviting him alone. There must be some like sort of conspiracy going on. Either they would like uh, kill him there or they would like deport him to China or do something like that. So everybody in Hassa decided to go to the Nubulinga Palace and like lie down there and like request His Holiness not to attend that uh, ceremony. Mm. Uh, so this person was actually sent by the people of Hassa to uh, call in all the monks of Jebung Monastery to come towards Nobulinga, not to go to Hassa, you know. And also uh, some people were sent to the other monasteries in Hassa to call the monks towards Nobulinga and uh, ask them not to go to Hassa but come to Nobulinga. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so he had like around 10 to 15 monks with him and like everybody was just so what should we do now what should we do now and then uh, he said like oh i'm going to nubulinka and any of you are you are coming then come with me so many of them went to nubulinka uh, two of his friends who were among that group uh, passed away recently and one is still in tibet <laughs> The Lubling of March in Judith and Lubling of Sango Jabsha. Any the Sango Junat was singing in the Yari. Not DT, the idea we the Mikora come, Desha. The me that the Gangwa shoved in the two, says a Munch, a Pemsuche, Desha, the idea. Tin it in any the Chando Babalagi, a Kenju singing, music. Yeah, the Quran Dimbada Karsa Jana Jemi Pad of the Yobata Kona. Dindia Gemma Semla Taco Jemi Pua se quota Jemi Chicson Yura Jimanda Sam Nimagi. Any 
Koran Korai Tambo Kenjuri Ya Shungi Tunjal Ya Chimuri, Leguntwaga Tunja Tony Ma, Yunduzani, Ya Duduzani, Pet Pitcher Kumi, Kodache or Kondoga, and Tunja Tony Ya Ching Lassal Ching Hassal Digi, Kodache Digi Kagapi, any Jaja Soraj Kuraj Mendalian Ruj, the Kavata, any Kangari Shunjit. My mamma was there, my own woman, Gabby Changong or Pashimbury. Mamma washing door. Copaga sung you baga do this. Go Taran, Cotta, Cheche, Yaching, that under my own. Carrying any washing me. A costume, Mikasha Chinsu, Sanga, Chinche, Penisumi, Posada, Chinju Chichanga, I say, Miss. A Gangata, me, Mamasu, that I could remember Karja Chimas, Taran, the Cotta Chimbury, Tanda Chutinis, Jaja Quentineva. Yonsat ya mayun pane ba koko ya karin ba. Eni shasa ya min do in tiche kozu nyeche dinye da koto la chimbaris. So uh, that day when while they were waiting at uh, the Nubulinga in front, the gate was closed, you know, and there were two guards standing there, and like so many people, old people, young people, moms, nuns, they were all like sitting uh, in front of the Nubulinga. Many of them were crying. Uh, so there was this one person uh, uh, who used uh, who people had previously known to have some contact with the Chinese people, officials and all. So he was dressed in like uh, like typical like aristocratic dress of the Tibetan Kashang and all. Mm -hmm. He went inside in the morning, you know. And in the evening later, the word spread around that he's also again going uh, towards the Chinese side in a sort of, a, what to say, a horse ride sort of thing. And he was wearing all Chinese clothes, you know, with the Chinese gun and all. Mm -hmm. So the people realized that, that it was the same person and they caught him and they questioned him like, uh, yeah, what are you doing in the morning? You're coming here in the evening, and you're going to that side wearing Chinese clothes. You can't catch it. Don't wear the last year. Middle catch it. Me, Sebi. Seda. So the people, the mob killed him, I think. Yeah. You can't say that. Quran, Yemen, Tambo, Koda, Che, Queen, Yachin, Tia, Diaga, Lassal, P, Ma, Yon, Jeje, Queen, and me, Toba Lunga, sort of Che, Chesa, go Toba Sadu, or Toba, or Toba Sadu. The Kuda's dress, you know, like mm -hmm. the Kasha's Kuda's dress. And later then he was again wearing like Chinese uniform with a gun and wearing a mask and going towards the Chinese side. So the mob caught him and I think they killed him. That didn't any Tunjit Chuni, didn't any in a Shabana, so it took in the Chivinango Maris, Mema to Consul Solial Law Juice, Sinjamala. So, uh, in the around the evening, uh, the word came from inside the Nubulinga that, okay, uh, His Holiness will not go tonight to that uh, ceremony. So, all the people, please do not create any problem and uh, return back to your own uh, house. So there was a peaceful protest during that time and the, uh, while the people were returning they started shouting like okay uh, Tibet is a free country, Chinese return back to Tibet. And it wasn't like the sloganeering of today's time, you know, like during that time, Tibetan don't know how to protest and slogan and all, so they, but still they were shouting like, Chinese go back, Tibet is a free country. Kangdara in a Yati Kaki Taki Ching, Kakarqua, Machu, Nazu Tumatema, Nazu Pertia, Nazu Kakabri, Satinde, Mado, Nanzu Nishin, Tesalabaja, Chetinjegi, Tiksu Che, Yamare. At that time, there was no like, such, uh, you know, in Tibet, so they were just like shouting, like, oh, Chinese go back, and all, in a like very uh, not very regulated manner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So there were a lot of Kashmiris, you know, Kashmiri Tibetan uh, Muslims in Hassa during that time. So they like, kind of many of them taught them like how to actually protest, like raise your hands and like 
shout and all. So that then it started kind of you know like raising your hands and all. Oh, kundi tinde chawa resi magala sal kachala goresa koran zote ya chikal pong nyuara ba. Since they have seen it outside, you know, Tibet, they travel between mm. India and Tibet and also mm. they have seen that. Tinde chupu chaza nta tada ni chia ba di tenge di tiba chu ni nda di ni do tu chumbari. Tati sumju chu ni si mema ya langi mema ge tiba meba kemi kana la malwa chu pe de ngazo pimire pe. Jacob race, catch this shade to Zaneta, Mema Lang, Mema Lang Beta, Velang, Tanya Mutin and Data, Sikine, Velang de Chumbare. So this was the first day when this uh, people's protest uh, for the first time started in Tibet, where the, the Tibetan people uh, came out saying, telling to the Chinese that, you know, this is our country, this is a free nation, you go back to your own country. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can ask. Okay. Mm. Tine Chinda Sumbetari Chuni in Ding as Tiri, Lang Sumurba Tine Mertua Jayat and Mendama Jayati Terry Chuku Chuku Tanako. Oh, then the actual like firings and Chinese, you know, like uh, mortar shells start coming uh, on in the evening of March uh, 19th. Terry Chuku Tanako. And the night of March 19th. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So the first day of the protest, uh, we thought that uh, the His Holiness was still there, but then later we came to know that he had already left on around March 8th. Yeah. Mm. Nadun de Rops at Shuba in a tinery, Titaras in a Missy get that in a Marangarangos tinu or you are a once you are in a little tongue wearing. I are not your mind with his son, Robert Cache, they are done as Cachabaga, they are a guy, Robert Yari, Cheta, uh, Dingos race. So, this is the brief experience of the marsh period, uh, which I witnessed it myself, you know. So, this is something brief I want to tell you. ngarang <laughs> So the reason for which he was caught by the Chinese and imprisoned was uh, because of his involvement involvement in that march protest, mm -hmm. and also because he helped around like sticking posters and pamphlets, right, giving pamphlets around. So these were the two main reasons. Mm -hmm. When was he arrested? Mm -hmm. Around June 24th, uh, 1959. And she said the Vasan is you, Marie. That's in Rulang, sir. Any teacher to Zane, any Vasan a perverter, ye tap Keran lawyer, tap the Nangolini Kijanjuari, Keshi Kerin Tembas, eh, Trevoch Kuchuari, the Kunotovichari, the Kabalki, any Payonche, ya. Chigal to Piari, the Mulia, Tangla, Tangnepa, Chigal Piati, any other tongue symbolis. Since, uh, as you have already read in my book, um, I was not caught in Mahasa. Uh, I was caught while I was uh, carrying my uh, my teacher, uh, Rinzi Temba, on my back, and we were planning to actually escape outside Tibet, but we first we wanted to go to Tsang, our native place, and from there we wanted to uh, go outside the country, but then we were uh, caught there by the Chinese. Um, I don't want to make you repeat your whole book, mm -hmm. but could you give us just a short summary of your time in prison and what it was like there? Any tabdi or ganza gonishe ju mele sra gela la ne. Any hine gela ta zama na de tsi tsi ra. Tiko nyam nyam big stick share us das. Ah, zama no debe ka. Zama no debe ka. Ah, debe ka. Ta zama no no la su ne ne. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to
Three groups of 1,500 people, there's around 4,500 people were sent to China. Any Janala, any Lendu, Sate, Jujin, Sate, Ching Ye, Sumdang, and Ta, dear, 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 Katorche, any Kasakala, Pergsa, Gongbo, any Samir, Kasakala, Tangche, Taka, did you any Leraku? That's why I was here. 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 I was and uh, many were like starved. I, I, I would say almost 70% of these 6,000 people died but just because of starvation while working. Mm -hmm. So because of the lack of food, many Tibetans like as at, um, before like started eating their shoes, leather shoes. Uh, even I also ate my uh, leather shoes. So everybody was so hungry that many of them like even ate uh, like dead bodies of human beings, you know. And there's one person in uh, the office of the Dalai Lama right now called Temba Sivala. He also went through that experience. Uh, Manzutunga so you could ask him and like actually know like how the Tibetans actually suffered because the Chinese all the time they create many beautiful lies and propaganda and Tibetans I feel somehow in many occasions lack actually like expressing and clearly uh, conveying what actually what experience they actually went through. So uh, you should ask him and ask people like them, like actually, how how deep and how uh, what to say, how deep was that uh, suffering and experience? Hmm. Timjo, Tsinghua Nulo, Timjo Chia, la yin, hang sang ai ta jia jia ya ta ji chia tong zu ta e ta ga si ri si, zhe mu ri si ta ta ga si dan chia tong zu. Even uh, huh? if you speak of torture, like just tying your hands around and like putting you in shackles, and these are like nothing. These are like small things happening. While, uh, while we were tortured. Any bad the uh, torture do, uh, torture the torture, the thing, uh, So while interrogation, while the interrogator would sit here on the table, uh, across the table, and there, here they would like uh, beat up glass with stone, like make it small pieces. Uh huh. I think I'll. So you have to kneel down on that thing, on the, on the glasses, uh, broken glasses. You have to raise your... Then you have to put 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 your... Then
so what they would say is like, Tibet has always been under China, and you are here today because you said that uh, Tibet is a free country and Tibet is not under China. And even before the, uh, the Tibetans were imprisoned, I think there was some period when they were, the Chinese were actually uh, sort of re-educating the Tibetans, telling them, oh, like, Tibet has always been part of China. So what have you learned out of that education? Nothing. That's why you are today here, you know, going through all this pain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he told them, well, I don't know, maybe you think that way, but when I was born here, I didn't see any Chinese around me. Mm-hmm. 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 Pulsi, <laughs> and what was bad that uh, uh, they never used electricity before 1981 as a means of torture. Uh, between 51 and 1981, there was no use of electrocution and things like that. But after 1981, they started using electricity, you know, electrocuting while interrogating. So there were different electrical, I think, prods of different sizes, like this much, this much, this much. So most of the time they would use the smaller one while interrogating you. And if you don't answer, like they would electrocute you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So first they would like put it here and then they would start passing electricity to your body and many would just urinate you know because of that pain right in front then even if that doesn't make you like agree or accept or recognize then they would start like you know putting everywhere in your body and all you know yeah, it's all 
so it was important that I personally tell you all this because even though it is in the book, but it is different when uh, the person who has gone through this experience uh, shares this with you personally. So uh, that's why I have to tell you this. Can you look here? So, here you are, Maria. So, here you are, Maria. Can I party in the book? So they are doing so they are amar. He had no teeth even during that time. And then they would put this electricity thing in his mouth and something I think, you know. And then they would Nala Kenolo Loyati Kupitu Tambelo Losuma Kupitu Tambe. I was electrocuted uh Kinda Kubeta Richusum Kinda Kubeta Richusum tortured with electricity on uh nine thirteenth of uh September nineteen ninety. Uh, mm -hmm. It was in Tapsi prison. So the one who electrocuted him was a Tibetan actually, and he's still in Tibet, and I have written his name also in the book. Mm -hmm. So it might seem weird, like a Tibetan tried to electrocute a Tibetan, but then uh, I can understand he was like working under the Chinese uh, government and like he has to think about his life and his livelihood, his family. So I have uh, no sort of uh, uh, no questions to him. I'm writing, I wrote his name and I'm telling you his name because uh, it makes a difference while, you know, uh, in speaking in terms of law, you know, like I'm, I can say his name and oh, he was involved and he was pressured by the Chinese uh, to electrocute me. So that's why I'm like telling his name and writing his name. Chili is the authority of the Dinidia. And his tongue is also affected by that. And he can't taste food just like a normal person, you know. He can't taste it. Uh, so since ninety to nineteen ninety five I had like no teeth. Not even the fake ones, not real ones. Could you kwang yam de jadwala toma kachaka chimba ye tine to inji yumbay. Inji ledune inji and this is toba. So in 1993, I went to Geneva uh, to speak about the uh, at, uh, at the United Nations conference, uh, and after that, I went to England. So in England, uh, the one of the support groups helped me uh, make this uh, teeth set. Uh, toilet Pomungalotokasmilishin Benjamin and Chimbari, you two come back in a tinder. Chet a tinder the mooling no longer take your good suit, you are a game, my boy. Caranto Combacheta, Tinder, Tung, Co, Kututane, me in it, the right guy made it was. So, this is uh, in general about the torture that is taking place in Tibet. And apart from me, uh, I mean, even they would torture women, like very harshly and very badly. They would use these electrical prods uh, you know, uh, in their genitals and many would die through that way. And even recently two of uh, the women have arrived, even they also went through all that experience. They are currently now in Belgium. So you can, you can see and think like such thing happening, I mean, at this period of time of world history, uh, such thing could only happen in China and it's not happening anywhere else. Mm. Mm. 
They would do all these things, and but still would tell the world that oh, like prisoners are treated well, the prison conditions are good, Chinese are the Chinese government is treating the Tibetan people well, and all those things. Just a ten day chala yine ta kiran jo sora rojon nenge tonzu yine senza kobo chiguari mato shin chira ra yan nenge mindus kiran jo kiran jo che ta kuzu kurum sora ta ubtu ta tonzu che gita. And even now, I mean, like students and like the younger generation would come and ask such questions. But other than that, nobody would ask about it. Telling his story, he's you know getting the word out and trying to trying to help the the Tibetan exile cause. How how do you think that cause is bearing in exile? Any that get a can't on it. That's just nyamyo chungle. That logu da jum di. That ni sama shewa ra. That chik chik she she ni ma ende ende chungle. That di lawa ra. That ni that pejen thala khan she that just she nang ora. That he ne that thanda that pejen thay di pejen ki ne dan di. That kandidush chasare and kandidush dus. ที่คนแค่สมศึกษาดูสิเทวกิจชับซีกินเนดานดาจิดังกินเนดาเทวกิจเทวกิจชับซีกินเนดานดาจิดังกินเนดาเทวกิจเทวกิจชับซีกินเ
So all this like made me frustrated and then finally we applied for a what to say legal action at the Spanish uh, uh, judiciary. Kerantu Taja Talule to the Nolo C. Ukiri Kandia Nizu Kandia to get the Tim the Abu two years. You could find it in uh, various like uh, internet sites and all about what is happening in the Spanish. There's a case going on there uh, against the Chinese, one few of the Chinese officials. Kerantu Nala Trinja Dinambe, Nadula Yanga Michi Dabajigi. Ne so today when I'm, I'm speaking with you, like uh, it's important that you should know like the Tibetans have done everything possible, everything reasonable possible to solve this issue and still the Chinese are very adamant and they are not like uh, giving any uh, way for us. So if in that way, if you could like uh, petition at the Spanish uh, court uh, for the case who's, which is already going on, oh, that would be very helpful. Mm. So if you think about it right now, it might seem like you know the solution for a Tibet is impossible and improbable because you know how the Chinese is growing, Chinese economy is growing, how China is becoming stronger. But uh, as an individual, I still keep my hopes, and uh, I have hopes for Tibet. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell him that we have uh, uh, loved talking to him, it's been an honor, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, we don't have any more time. Mm -hmm. But is there anything else that he would like to say to us? Any, uh, get on your book, uh, come in on the big social sources, some of my intuition, and it's wrong, and get a can case on it, and not for us, and that's on the realist. To just share them in the chase, and as a talent, get a share with some such a little, touch around the Kuame. Tajinum the <laughs> so this was something brief about like the political situation of Tibet and the business condition I spoke to you about. And I feel that Tibetans are doing everything right. The Tibetan government is doing everything right. Uh, in its approach to solving the issue. And it's just been 50 years, even if it takes hundreds of years, thousands of years. I mean, it's, it's a problem of a whole nation. It cannot be resolved uh, that soon. And if the Chinese think that they would be able to shut us up just by using force, uh, forceful persecution all the time, then I had been under torture for almost 33 years. And they couldn't make me, uh, uh, I mean, uh, disrobe and not be a monk. I'm still a monk, as I was before. So 33 years of torture couldn't do anything to me, then I hope, I'm, I'm sure that 
uh, whatever the Chinese do, the cause of Tibet will remain there un unless it, until it is resolved. The Jewish people have faced the same persecution for many thousands of years, and if they could, you know, stand it and finally, like, you know, uh, have what they have now, then I believe, like, we Tibetans could also uh, do it, especially since our new generation is getting more modern education and all the other uh, education of this current uh, modern world. So I hope, I, this is my hope, and I'm 80 years old now, I'll pass away soon, but I'm sure, like, in future, like, uh, there will be a solution to Tibet. Uh, <laughs> One last thing also to add up, sorry, he says, uh, like, our approach and our, like, struggle and our, uh, sort of, uh, our questions are for only for the communist uh, ideology of China and the communist government established in China. We have no complaints from the Chinese people because uh, they themselves are helpless. Uh, you know about what happened in 1989, the Tiananmen Square massacre. Uh, where many of the Chinese students, pro-democratic uh, students, uh, were killed and butchered by the Chinese themselves, and they still do not accept that. So that's how the Chinese government is. So our complaints are, uh, is to the to the communist ideology and the government of China. Thank you. Mm, thank you.